Hi, I'm Will. Back again, going to talk a little bit about the NO2C board for Speed Uno. This is a board that I have fitted to my wife's 1970 Baja convertible. And um, I did a build video on this board about a week ago. I've had a couple of questions about the jumper settings on the board. So I thought pretty quick and easy for me to set up the camera and try to get some video of what the jumper settings are and how they work on this board. So to better understand what's going on, this right here is a jumper. So this particular jumper is the output control voltage for the coils. So if you're running smart coils or ignition, depending on the type of ignition coil that you're running, whether that coil wants to see a five volt signal or a 12 volt signal to fire that coil. So we need to know what coil you have and, and what it's running in order to set this. You'll see on the board, it's probably really hard to see in the video, but there will be a five volt on one side and a 12 volt on the other side. So the way we make the settings, the selection on that jumper is we're just going to take our jumper here and so short the two pins on the side that we want. So I'm running LS1 coils and they're triggered by 12 volts. So I want to make sure that I have that selection on the 12 volt side. So that's going to send the signal out at 12 volts to fire those coils. Most of the rest of the jumper settings are going to be down here around the VR conditioner board. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that VR conditioner out and we can see some of the jumpers underneath here. So we'll have these three, four jumpers that are around the VR board. And so we have VR and Hall. So on my particular application, my crank trigger is VR. So you can see over here on RPM one, I have the jumper set to VR. My cam signal, my cam sync is a Hall effect. So on the other side of the board where it has VR and Hall, I have that set Hall. So these jumpers also have to be set for VR versus Hall. You need to have the jumper on for Hall effect or off for VR. So on RPM one, I have no jumper because I'm using a VR signal. On RPM two, I have the jumper on. This provides five volts out to the hall sensor. And when it comes around, it grounds that sensor. So these, both of these jumpers are have to do with the settings on whether we're going hall or VR. And then Kind of the last sensor, last jumper that's on some of these boards. It is not on this particular board. This is an earlier version, but there's a jumper down here by the stepper motor control or reset control. And what that gives us is on the Arduino platform, when you plug in the USB connection to a laptop, it resets the Arduino uh, code and so if you had this in your car and the car is running and you plug in your laptop to tune, it'll reset the Arduino and, and the car would stall and you have to restart it after the connection was made. With that, you can go in with reset control. You can go into Tuner Studio and make a selection that the Arduino will only reset, let's say, if the engine's not running. 